Hello, this is Homeschooling Records. I am going to show you a um, tutorial today on getting your students, your subjects, your grades, and um, also how to use the calendar and um, inputting of attendance. Um, the membership fee to this site is $25 per year with the first month being free. And you can easily pay for that on PayPal. Once you get logged in, once you get registered and um, go through PayPal, then you need to go to the Students tab. And here's where we'll add the students. And let's see, we've already got a Billy in here. So then you just click, click Add. And then to add another student, click on New. And there I've got Jane. I'm going to say Add. And now I'm done adding my students, so I close it. There's also an allowance application, and I will discuss that a little bit later. Now, once you're done, you need to add the subject proportions. Either you can click on this next arrow, or you can go up to the subjects tab. And then here are some instructions. Scroll down to the grading proportions, and here we've got a standard set of classes that you um, may be teaching your homeschoolers, um, or there there is the option to add more. Um, say I had something in particular like French, and I can add a description, and this will show up on the transcripts. Okay, so now it's got French and French 1, and as long as there are courses that you've added, you can then go in and edit. You can edit the description or the actual name of the, the class. Now, this works with all of the other classes, even the standard classes. Um, here, let's say we've got these choices of tests, worksheets, projects, quizzes, participation. Now for French, I'm going to have some tests, and as far as um, proportions, we need to, for each class, you need to um, have 100% total, but my tests are going to be equal to 40%, so then I'm going to click on Add, then I'm going to take add a new one, and the next one is actually going to be my participation, and that's going to be 60%. done with that. So now I've got a hundred percent of my proportions. Now I'm going to go ahead, I'm just doing a, a regular math and I don't want to add a special thing. So um, with math I'm going to say the tests are 50 percent Sheets are twenty five percent, and then I will also have quizzes, and that'll be another twenty five percent. So, all together, here we have a hundred percent of the portions. Okay, so I've added math and French. Now I can click on this arrow and go to the grades, or I can click on the tab up here. Just click on now, before you can enter any kind of grades, um, you, de you have to have your subjects in. You also have to have your students in. Now, here's a list of my students. I need to click on one of them. Once I click on them, I now can add an assignment to Billy's grades. So I click on this, and down in this pane, I've got my assignment. Now, in my drop-down, I have all of the 
classes that are available to me, but I only added two proportions, um, proportions for two of the classes, so I can really can only add to math or French, and I will show you that in a moment. So here I'm going to add worksheet one with the due date, and the due date can be out as far as you'd like or back. Um, so since I'm Let's just say if I was going to do social studies, but I didn't add the proportions. So now we get this error. So there are no categories available. And then you click here, and then it would take you back to the page to add the categories. But instead, I want to add math. And this is a worksheet. And Jimmy or um, Billy got 7 out of 10 correct. So now I'm going to Okay, and it doesn't show down here right away. You have to go up here and where you see your math right now is 70%. And there it is. Now, to add another one to math, I can click on this. Now, let's say this next worksheet is not due until tomorrow. So, I'm going to put it in, but I can leave the grade blank and then I can update it later, and it does not affect my grade. Okay, now to change a different subject, click here, and click French, and I'm going to say he took a test. Excel worksheet, or we can gray, or we can um, print this pane if we wanted to give our children a status report. Okay, and then we can also, once we have, click on the math, and we can also download to Excel the um, worksheets or the detail of the grade, or we can print the detail of the gr each grade. We also have the option, if we were to select all or just select a couple of these, we can add these to the calendar, which I'm going to show you next. We can delete them, or we can copy them to another one of our children. We only have one other child, but we can copy them to them. It will copy everything except the grade, and that way it's all set up when you go to your next child. And I'll go ahead and do that. Copy both of those. And now it says the assignments were copied. And here, if we go now, if we go to Jane, if I click on Math, and of course it doesn't have a grade because it didn't copy those grades, but it has the worksheet one and worksheet two. And then I can go in here, edit, and then I can put she got 56 on there, and the other one's not due until tomorrow, so she doesn't have a grade. Okay, so now let's. Go to the calendar. Um, the calendar has some time zone issues, but um, go ahead and read through the directions. Um, I'm just going to show you a real quick run through. Um, we have our standard subjects here, and let's just say that uh, we have foreign language is going to, well. Wait, let's let's actually use French since we have French. So we'll move French here to. 10, and then if I want, I can put whatever assignment it might be. Let's see. Read a book or whatever we want to put in there. Okay. And then, um, then I've got math is after that. And if I want it to reoccur, then I can click on here. This is the when it's going to end, the reoccurrence is going to end, so it'll just make it every day, um, or it could be bi-monthly, monthly, weekly. I'm just going to make this not reoccur. Okay, 
and we can do month view, week do, view, day view, and then when you, you'll need to refresh the page to get the colors, and then oftentimes it will change the time, so you need, right now, um, it's quirky that way, and so you just need to adjust your times, so right here we've got the French, and then we've got Okay, that's just a really quick, and then just to edit it, then you just click on it again. Okay, and it's just quick, quick for the calendar. Um, the attendance, all right, well first you always need to select your student. And it's automatically always going to go to today's date. And so I'm going to say he spent an hour doing math. And he did a worksheet and I'm gonna add that then he did French and he did three quarters of an hour and you don't necessarily need to add anything there okay so now these are today's attendance and I will show you um, the output here in a minute but one thing that I've discovered is I really wanted to, our days were pretty much the same, so I wanted to copy the days to other days quickly and easily. Here I've got a check mark that shows I've already entered that day. Well, if I want to copy today's date, I just go to today, and here it lists those items, and say I want to copy it to tomorrow and Friday. So everything that I highlight, and then I'm going to say copy. Now, it now has check marks on all of these days. To go and look at those days, I can either input the date there and click on the go, or I can go next. And so for tomorrow, it's the exact same thing. I can go in and I can change the description if I want to. Now, for I'm going to view Billy's attendance. select Billy and it it's always going to start at the beginning of the month and then end nine months later at the end of the month um, most people most of us start school in August or September and so you just you can put in whatever months but um, to make this work correctly you really should not you cannot go over a year and I, I would recommend not going over 11 months so, but we can go back the prior month. So now this is November. Anyway, so we have October, November, December. And here's, it's added up my hours. But then it also, we have a little bit of detail here. So here's, I can click on this day. And um, then down here, it's going to show me what the detail is. We can print this out. Um, or if we, I just want to see, okay, so total in math, he spent four hours. And then here, it's just going to list the days and how much each day he had spent. Okay, and that's it for now. I will be adding more videos as um, more functions become available. Thank you so much.